Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I heart Aries. My name is Chelsea and this is a channel where we do all Aries readings. And today we're going to take a look here at a general message. Whatever comes out, comes out just to see what you need to know. Okay, we're going to do a Celtic cross on the general energy right now. Okay, take what resonates, leave the rest behind. This may not resonate with everyone, but this will be a reading on the energy right now in the Aries Collective, okay? Um, I did see everyone's responses for the people who had asked about the mini readings, okay? So I will make those available. Normally, you have a week to um, time frame to get in the payments for those. But since I'm going to be leaving soon, I'm going to make it until Thursday and the live will be conducted Thursday evening. Um, it'll probably be late. So please do not hound me. You will get the number. You will get your number once the live is finished because I noticed giving the numbers out before then it's so much confusion because a lot of times there's always at least one or two people who forget to email me their questions. They will send a payment and forget to send me the questions and then the timestamps all mess up. So you will receive your um, number that will correlate to your timestamp after the live is completed. It will be a private live. So you not will not be able to watch and nobody on YouTube will be able to watch. I do it that way. So a lot of people don't want their business out there. So that's why I call it a semi-private reading. The only people who will have access to that live, that link, are the people I email it to, the people who are paying customers, okay? It is $35, I mean, excuse me, it's $20 for one question, $35 for two questions. If you would like or interested in that, the information is going to be in the comment section. It's going to be pinned in the comment section. So let's go ahead and get started here. Let's see here. Okay, spirits and angels, please. Message here for the guys collective. Oh, no, Venus rising. What do they need to know? What is this situation about for Aries? Oh, that's done. All right. That is done. Let's see here. Three of Cups, celebrations, parties, gatherings, get togethers could be happy times. Three Cups can sometimes be a, a happy reconciliation or coming back together. So I'm seeing the Eight of Cups here at the bottom of the deck, somebody walking away emotionally from something. We'll clarify. What's the challenge here? The Ten of Wands. Someone's been very heavily burdened in life. Um, maybe you're having a lot of hard work. They could be putting a lot of hard work on you at work or just going through a very difficult time at it, a difficult run at it in life right now. Because I'm seeing the Six of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So trying to get out of your head, trying to get away from some sort of conflict. We're going to keep going. I, I mean, I could see this as someone here who is about to find the joy in life again. Who's about to find the beauty in life again. Now this could be somebody coming back to you, right? And that could burden you, but let's move forward and see. What does spirit want you to focus on? Nine of Pentacles, your independence, your health, taking care of yourself, maybe even growing some sort of wealth here as well. Enjoying the fruits of your labor. Nine of Pentacles, I'm telling you, somebody could be coming back that's going to like kind of cramp your style or burden you here a little bit because you feel like you've been free of something. But I'm really seeing somebody in need, like, I'm really seeing somebody needs to enjoy themselves, enjoy life a little bit more. I mean, I know that's easier said than done with this world, but it, they really are wanting you to focus on celebrations. What happened in the past here? Who's growling behind me? Who is that? Bruno can really snore. The moon and the wheel of fortune, the magician here at the bottom of the deck, circumstances that have changed fate, good energy, but it's something that is hidden. This could be your subconscious mind, fears. What changed? Maybe the way that you're thinking. I'm seeing the magician at the bottom of the deck. Let's see here. What, what is crowning Aries? The Ten of Pentacles, financial abundance, wealth. This could be a windfall of money, something that you don't see coming. A fate is changing here that you don't see coming. And so this is celebratory energy. 
This could be a business popping off. I keep seeing the magician as in somebody is manifesting something. This is a spiritual reading. Like somebody is creating some sort of abundance here with the Empress. Nine of Pentacles. It could have been a long time coming. Tell me about what's coming towards Aries in the future position. The high priestess. I knew it. I just said spiritual reading. All right. Listening to your intuition. I'm also hearing visualizing. Seeing something in your mind's eye, seeing behind the veil, being able to see behind the veil. Maybe you don't even think that you can, but you're really tuned in and tapped in. Something here about a burden. Feeling weighed down. I heard the, like, okay, I don't want to trigger anybody, but I heard like the own problems that you put on yourself. Hmm. Yeah. Five of Pentacles is your energy, Aries. You've got all these good energy around here. Three of Cups is the situation. Celebrations, um, joyous occasions, parties. Doesn't seem like a reconciliation exactly. We'll, we'll clarify here. Being happy, but somebody feels burdened. All right. Five of Pentacles here feeling left out in the cold, depleted financially, maybe even health-wise. Taking on too much. Let's see here. What's in your environment? The devil. Something that is controlling you. Could even be an addiction. And it doesn't always have to be chemical. Just anything that has, you know, control, codependent energy here. With the devil energy. Some, And it could be something that you could ease. I mean, that is what the devil is. You can easily break free from this thing. But mentally it has you trapped or stuck chained to it, bound to it. It could be a person, got Capricorn energy. It could be a job. It could be an idea. It could be, you know, something here that happened that you're stuck to, that is unable, like you're unable to break free from, and it's limiting you financially, health-wise, fun-wise, because spirit is telling you to focus on enjoying life, the fruits of your labor, or what could be what could be like you could be manifesting more there could be things that are coming in for you but you're focused on some sort of lack or feeling left out in the cold something here changed within your mindset what is hopes and fears here the eight of swords and the ace of swords you're just trying to break out free from this self-sabotaging energy what happened to someone to where you know, they like, this is a self-sabotage. You, you can't, you have to break free from this. I'm sorry, we're not snoring. It's this limiting belief. We've been talking about this a lot with the eight of swords, this negative thinking, what it could have should have, or I can't do this. I can't do that. So many lies that you're telling yourself and spirits like wanting you to look at the truth, the ace of swords. It's what's going to break you free. This could be an epiphany or some sort of inspiration coming to you or that aha moment. I could do this. Clarity, the truth, a new beginning. The outcome here in this situation is the Page of Cups. It's like this could be your intuition, an intuitive guided message coming towards you. This could be the beginning stages. And look at that. The Ace of Cups is what to say of something coming through that feels good, that brings that good energy back to you. We have the Ace of Cups. Clarify the Page of Cups one more time. Queen of Wands, this is something that you create. You create here with the Queen of Wands here. You're manifesting. Manifesting this new good beginning or new feelings of well-being in general. Let's see. Oh, here they are. <laughs> I'm like, where are these cards at? I want to take a look at the past with the moon and the wheel of fortune. Wheel of fortune is upright. It is good fate, good luck, karma here, cycle ending. Being very fortunate that something is now ended or over. Three of Wands, turning away from something, having a more positive outlook on a situation, waiting for your ships to come in. 
and the death card here in reverse kind of flipped over here that talks about being stuck, feeling stuck for a while, unable to transition or move. But something here, I'm seeing the five of swords, something does change for you or is about to change for you. Five of wands. Could have been stuck in your head about an argument, something that happened that was drama filled, a fight. This could be like the inter your internal conflict where you're arguing within yourself. You're stopping yourself from doing something, stopping yourself from transitioning or moving on from something that was quite hard for you. That's like kind of living rent free in your head with this moon card. It's like deep in your subconscious. Like if people seen you, like they wouldn't really know it's going on, but it's really deep rooted. And it's showing here that turning away or having a more positive expectation here is going to change something for you with the will of fortune, maybe even get you unstuck. Tell us about the three of cups here for Aries, the main energy coming out, four of cups, uh, feeling complacent, bored, um, ungrateful sometimes. You may need to practice gratitude to get out of this energy because it's, it's, it's causing you to miss opportunities. Maybe even your calling with the Ace of Cups here. Clarify the Three of Cups. The Queen of Pentacles, maybe even money, okay? Um, being able to take care of yourself, abundance, success. There's something here where spirit is saying like, you need to look at what you have. Even if you don't feel like you don't have a lot, you have a lot. You have a lot and you need to focus on what you do have. Um, and being happy, like, I, and I'm not trying to preach, but it, like literally it's saying that someone here needs to focus on like that you're waking up every morning that, you know, maybe you may be sick or you may have some sort of, you know, health ailments, but like, you're still able to function a lot better than someone else. And I'm not trying to say the whole, you know, well, somebody else has it worse and diminish your problems, but there is something that you can be grateful about because it's saying that that is what you need to change your position. Literally, that's what you need to change your position or what is going on around you. Give me one more for this three of cups. The eight of cups, walking away from the emotions that do not serve you and the king of wands here. Okay. This is a creator, a master manifester, a visionary leader here. Someone, this is like Mr. Make it happen. You don't have to be a man, but I'm just saying like he does it. Okay. Very creative, very passionate, but see, like, this is the thing. There may have been something bothering this king of this king of wands, right? But he knows that he can't sit in that. He cannot, I'm just saying he, for the sake of the, you know, for explaining, he cannot sit in these emotions because if he sits in these emotions, he cannot manifest. Now you feel them, but then you don't dwell there, right? You release them and you use that as power and strength to continue. It seems like here with the fourth cup, somebody is sitting in it, sitting in those emotions. And I mean, water will put that flame out. Okay. And spirit is like, you need to focus here on what possibilities that could be, what you have here, um, taking care of your health. And I'm not just saying, well, physically, but also that is, there's some sort of correlation there to what you're manifesting, what you're creating, because a lot of this has to do with your abundance. I'm seeing here somebody, the challenge is somebody is very weighed down, looking at everything, every problem, every stressor that they have every day, instead of finding something to be happy about with the three of cups some sort of celebratory energy, there's something coming in for you because spirit, spirit wants you to focus on this nine of pentacles and what's crowning you is the 10. So it's very good energy around you, but someone is staying stuck in something. Tell, me, tell us about the nine of pentacles, the knight of pentacles. So it's coming in. The abundance is coming in. It is growing. Tell me about the nine of pentacles, the two of pentacles. But you need to you need to regain balance, Aries. Somebody is very unbalanced, whether it's physically, mentally, spiritually. You, you know, you're not getting enough sleep. You're just looking at the woulda, coulda, shouldas. You're going. Somebody is unbalanced. They need to regain some sense of balance. Maybe that's meditation. I remember earlier today, I was thinking, I was racking my brain around something here um, that I'm going through, and literally, I just heard spirits like, "You need to meditate. You need to meditate." 
We're going to tell you what to do. You need to meditate. And, you know, as an Aries, it's a really relatable thing is that we just try to figure everything out on our own. We just do, 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 go, 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 go. And we have this infinite source, this power within us that has all of the answers. It has all of the answers right inside of us in our energy field. But when we just keep going, 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 trying to figure it out, 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 instead of sometimes just sitting still. And not just sitting still, but actually listening, you know, allowing them to know that you have your, they have your full undivided attention. Somebody here needs to regain a sense of balance because something is coming in towards you very slowly because you're imbalanced. You can change the speed of the manifestation if you find this balance, this peace with inside of yourself. Um, and it's not just peace, but balance really, literally. I feel like some of you, it's on a, a physical level. Like not getting enough sleep, not enough water, um, not enough exercise. And I'm saying you need to full blown on, you know, go to the gym, but even walking around the corner, around your house, that's a good manifestation practice too. Um, tell us about the 10 of Pentacles crowning Aries, the King of Swords, King of Swords here and the High Priestess there being clear on a vision, maybe even detaching from something, but the King of Swords is, 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 is success as well as what I'm hearing is success. Tell me about the King of Swords here. It's the truth of the situation to being very knowledgeable. I knew it, it, it is success <laughs> with the Empress being on top of your game. It's overcoming something too, I'm hearing, but being on top of your game, this is a very successful business person. A lot of abundance here coming in for someone Someone here is feeling, someone right now who's feeling very stuck and imbalanced. There is a lot of success coming in for you. Something to be happy about with the three of cups here. But right now you're focused on what is not happening and that you are creating more of that. Tell us about the high priestess here in the future position for Aries. Two of wands and the two of swords, literally blocking your intuition. Not being able to make a decision. You're at a stalemate. What's going on with that 10 of wands? Because you're so burdened. You're taking on so many different responsibilities, feeling really heavy, feeling really weighed down. There's something that you need to release, Aries. Something that is weighing you down, that is racking your brain. You need to just release it. Tell us about the high priestess here and listen to your intuition. I almost feel like, like you get a lot of Indian cards here with the high priestess. 10 of wands. Now you got the world card, which is closing out a cycle. And success coming to you. I really feel like somebody is trying to put in a lot of effort in creating something or doing something. And the only effort that you really need to do is kind of tune in and tap in. Because I'm getting the sense here of confusion and being at a stalemate, unable to make a decision because of your actions, something that you're actually doing. And Spirit's like, Cut that out in that, <laughs> okay? Eight of cups, eight of wands here. Something could come in very quickly for you. One more for the high priestess. Three of pentacles it has to do with wealth, abund abundance, expansion, growth, maybe even your business. There could be different people coming in to help you elevate collaborations as well. But spirit is saying, you're not gonna get there from here. You're gonna get there from here, you know, meditating like listening to your intuition, like something is coming to you, especially here with the Eight of Swords and the Ace of Swords, you being stuck, unable to make a decision. There's something coming to you. Tell us about the Five of Pentacles, Aries' energy that Aries is in. I embrace this again. Feeling drained, depleted. Maybe some of you are feeling like your intuition is blocked. But it's not. It's always there. It's always with you. King of Pentacles, I'm telling you, that's where the money is. That's where the abundance is. That's where it's something here about you needing to get. I don't want to say just healthy because I'm not, it, it could be physical health, but really knowing and understanding your worth and taking care of your vessel, taking care of you. If you know that you are worthy of something here like this with the Empress energy, you're going to treat yourself differently. Somebody needs to shake something off. And I, I know I've been there before. I'm some days I'm still there. <laughs> I'm still there some days, just where you're just feeling really down and depressed. 
but I feel like somebody's been here for a long time, maybe even longer than me. So, and it's, 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 it is creating your reality. It is creating what you see and what you do every day. So life is hard. Life is difficult for you. You're drained, you're broke, you know, all of these things because you keep focusing on what is in front of you. And it's an art. It really is to sometimes, you know, I hear it in the law of attraction community, being delusional, being delusional. It actually works. You know, sometimes when everything is really, really piling up on you and just like completely ignoring it, you got to be really strong sometimes to be able to do that because some people just fear everything going wrong. But I remember one time I just told this story before when I used to work where I used to work, I used to have a nine to five, you know, I just said, you know what? I didn't pick becoming a tarot reader. I just knew that there was a calling for me. But I picked on, I was listening to a law of attraction seminar or someone, Abraham, and they were like, decide what you want. Decide what the life that you, you want to live. And I remember I had a notebook at my desk and I said, you know what? I just want to be, I'm a single mom. And all these people are telling me as a single mom, you're going to have to work two, three jobs to just make it. You're going to have to do this and maybe you should go be a nurse and da, 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 da and all this other stuff. And all I kept thinking is my first calling is being a mother. I can't imagine, you know, my child not having a father. Um, his father's completely gone, you know, and, and just being like, okay, every day I got to go drop him off to somebody while I work and make money and miss his childhood. Now I'm, I'm sorry, if, you know, somebody lives that life. I understand, you know, people had to do it. We had to do it. Our parents have to, some parents had to experience that. But I said, I'd made a decision that was not going to be my life. I made a decision. I said, I'm not wavering. I will not sacrifice that. I will not sacrifice my child's childhood and miss it because somebody says I had to, I have to pay bills. So I sat there and wrote, I made a decision. I said, I'm going to be a stay at home mom. I'm going to make a lot of money and I'm going to be able to show up for my child, whatever he does and still be able to pay the bills by myself. No child support, da, 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 all of that. Had no idea, no idea. And then I decided, I was like, you know what? I'm going to make believe. I'm going to pretend like I'm going to, you know, some days when I would take um, mental health days, I would go and pretend like when I used my leave and took mental health days, just the simple fact of going to the grocery store at nine o'clock, 10 o'clock in the morning after I dropped my son off to school, I pretended that this is my life. You know, I'm able to go to the grocery store because I'm not at work. I don't have to go to rush hour traffic and do and pretend it literally made believe in my, in my old, old, you know, as an adult to say, this is my life. And I'm able to go to the gym in the morning when most people are at work. And I pretended, you know, and it became my reality. And a lot of things were piling up on me at that time, but I just did not look at them every day. I'm saying that to say, because if you don't need this message and you feel like I'm interrupting the reading, this isn't for you. Somebody needs this message where they are literally every single day faced with so many different things that is beating them down. And I'm just telling you, the more that you focus on every single one of those things every day that's feeding you down, the more it is going to wear your ass out. It really will. It will really drain you. It will really deplete you. It will really give you health issues. You will never feel happy. You will feel incomplete, unsatisfied in life. That is what this world that we are living in is designed to do. You have to carve out a space and your reality and create your happiness because the government and the world is not going to do it for you. You have to do it for yourself. You don't have to listen to the status quo. You don't have to listen to what is right. Okay. If you know you're unhappy with where you're at right now, make a conscious decision that this is what my life is going to be like and stick to it. Stick to it and it will manifest. I am a walking billboard to that. Not wavering. Like I'm talking about like not knowing where the next check was going to be. But I said I refuse to ever get a nine to five. And when I made that conscious decision to not do that anymore, it just started rolling. It takes time, but it takes faith. It takes faith. It really takes faith. That's it. Faith. You can't waver. You can't waver. Somebody here is really feel like they're with a ball and chain here. 
Okay. Clarify the devil energy. And that's what any situation, it doesn't have to just be with finances. It could be you leaving a marriage, leaving, you know, a situation where you just don't know how you're going to do it. It takes faith and it takes intention. Okay. Look at this. The nine of pentacles over here, this devil energy. Somebody could definitely feel bound to something for their finances. This is where they're, yeah, eight of pentacles. Some of you, it's a work. This is where you feel like this devil energy is controlling someone, their independence through financial. All of these are pentacles, page of pentacles, eight of pentacles, nine of pentacles. Like you feel like this is the only way your wealth and abundance is going to come from by something that is controlling your mind, thinking that this is my only source of income. This is the only way I'm going to be able to, to make it and be rich. And it, it, this has to work. This is it. The hangman's at the bottom of the deck. Spirit is saying to look at something from a different perspective before you make another decision. Talk about the Queen of Wands and the Page of Cups and the outcome. Excuse me. The magician was about to come out. Oh my goodness. Just had some coffee, Lord. Um, Four of Swords. Meditation. Healing from a situation. Knight of Cups. Following your dreams. Following that intuitive, I'm telling you, something here is coming for you, Aries, because you're speaking it, you're creating it, very passionate about it. Six of Pentacles. Tell us about the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Swords. And detaching from something. I'm seeing the Nine of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Ten of Swords in reverse. Someone is almost like stuck in a very painful ending but unable to really break free from it. You got the death card in reverse and now you got the 10 of swords in reverse. Queen of swords energy here, making a wise decision, intelligent decision here, possibly around your resources, how you make money, but it has to do with a dream, a goal. Four of swords here, something here that you're creating is about to bring healing for you and you're about to get the first signs of it. That is what you need. That's what you've been waiting for. Six of Swords. It's going to allow you to move on peacefully from something that you've really been hurting behind. Look at that. Five of Pentacles and the Lover. Some of you, it is a relationship. But some of you here are changing your situation and about to become in alignment with your soul purpose with the Lovers. Knight of Swords here. And, you know, somebody has not been taking action, inspired action with the Knight of Swords in reverse. Yeah, that has to change with the Nine of Cups and the Ace of Cups. Something is waiting for you. And some of you may have gotten this intuitive nudge, this inspiration, but you didn't take the action. You gotta be careful with that. Sometimes it'll come back around. Sometimes it won't. But I do feel like for someone, the opportunity is coming in for you. It's a new opportunity that's going to bring you a wish fulfillment. You got the ace plus the nine of cups. That's the 10 of cups, the ultimate happiness. But you are going to have to take a leap of faith and you are going to have to be strong, 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 listening to those emotions, maybe even pushing down that fear and having a lot of courage because this will bring in something that you truly enjoy and love to do here. The ace of pentacles and blessings. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, somebody has to get over some sort of disappointment or heartbreak. It will work out in your favor with the justice here and the star. I feel like this is more, yeah, and I said this again, this is more about someone here getting out of their car. I would, if you, this is you, before you go to bed tonight, and I'm going to do the same thing, I'm going to do it with you, make a gratitude list. I mean, write down until you can't write anymore things that you're grateful for, okay? We all know the basic necessities is good, but... I mean, talking about your vision, like, you know what I'm saying? Be able to walk and things like that. Things that you would truly, if they were taken away tomorrow, you would be so depressed. Those are things that you are grateful for, you know, but you don't think about it, but you do have it because you don't have to think about it. I'm telling you, make a list tonight. That's a very, very powerful um, way of changing your circumstances. So let's go a few. Uh, that's it right there. Uh, paper cards. See what we have here for Aries. We got the main female. Whoop, whoop. We got the main female. I'm seeing the thief card right here. Okay, that could be you know thoughts that are robbing you of your path. 
Some of you, that path is leading to you to a new partnership here or courtship, dating. But I'm seeing here the path represents in the Kipper, and I've read the book. This is the light at the end of the tunnel. Okay. This is the light at the end of the tunnel after a very long journey, after a very difficult journey. It is emerging. It is appearing. Give us one more here from the Kipper. Thoughts. Every time I see this card, thoughts become things. If you see here, he's thinking about something he's creating. So be careful about your thoughts. Be careful about what you are thinking, okay? Because you are, that is what you're living. What you're thinking is what you're living. What you what you believe you are and have is what is, is your reality. You can only manifest what you believe that you are. And so that's why it helps to be delusional sometimes, right? Really to pretend and make believe. Because you manifest what you are, what you think you are, what you believe. Let's see here. Give us one card from this deck spirit. What does Aries need to see? Visualize success. See yourself doing well in this situation and have faith in a positive outcome. Visualize success. There it is. I'm going to pull um, an abundance oracle. What the heck were you barking at? And now you're back over here asleep. Bruno really be seeing spirits. <laughs> he really do. I mean, it could be dead silent. He could be snoring and then just out of his sleep, he's barking. All right. But he don't leave my side. And Pugsley's a whole teenager now. So he stays in front of the TV. But Bruno's always behind me when I'm doing these readings. Wanted a black cat and I got a black dog. So well, there we have it. That's my uh my little queen of wands black cat back there. Let's see here. What do we have here for Aries? Sun, moon, Venus, and rising. What do we have here for Aries? Sever vows of poverty. Sever your vows of poverty. Dear one, there's no need to suffer or sacrifice. Hold the intention of undoing any vows of poverty and self-denial that you may have made consciously or unconsciously in any lifetime. As you do so, all effects of these vows will be undone for everyone involved in all directions of time. Sometimes these vows of poverty can be made generationally. A lot of times, you know, just by the things that our parents said as we were growing up, we believe them. Um, and then I'm going to read this at the bottom of the deck. No more complaining. Complaints are affirmations of victimhood, which is never true spiritually. Take back your God-given power by affirming that you have an abundance of choices and freedom. With your increased confidence and assertiveness, watch these positive affirmations blossom into reality. All right. And let's pull one more Oracle message. I'm feeling like I want to pull, if I don't see it, let me see here. The African Goddess Rising Oracle that is like kind of, oh, here it is right in front of my face. It's just turned around. Well, that was it. 